Turkey's defense industry has achieved a breakthrough with its next-generation amphibious military vehicles, marking a significant technological advancement. These vehicles excel in diverse combat scenarios by seamlessly transitioning between land and water operations while delivering enhanced mobility, protection, and firepower. These groundbreaking vehicles shocked both the U.S. and the global defense community with their capabilities. The Samur Amphibious Assault Bridge, developed by Turkish defense company FNSS, is a highly versatile military engineering system designed to facilitate rapid river crossings for armored vehicles and troops. This system is critical for modern armies, requiring seamless mobility in amphibious and riverine operations. The Samur can function both as a bridge and as a ferry. Multiple units can be connected to form a continuous bridge capable of supporting the passage of heavy military vehicles, such as main battle tanks. Each individual Samur unit can also operate independently to ferry vehicles across water obstacles, enhancing its operational flexibility. Key features of the Samur include its high mobility and adaptability. It is built on a robust amphibious platform, enabling it to traverse rivers and other water bodies efficiently. On land, it is equipped with an all-terrain chassis to navigate difficult environments. The system is powered by a strong engine, providing sufficient thrust in water and excellent performance on rugged terrain. Samur is protected against threats such as small arms fire and shrapnel, ensuring durability in combat scenarios. Its quick deployment capability makes it invaluable for tactical and emergency river crossings. The Zaha Marine Assault Vehicle is an amphibious combat vehicle developed by Turkish defense company FNSS, designed to support marine forces in landing and combat operations. Built specifically for amphibious warfare, Zaha is capable of transporting personnel and equipment from sea to land, offering protection and firepower in various battlefield conditions. It is highly maneuverable on both land and water, allowing for swift transitions during amphibious assaults. Zaha is equipped with a machine gun and the automatic grenade launcher, providing significant firepower to support infantry during assault operations. Its modular armor system ensures protection against small arms fire and shell fragments, while the vehicle's V-shaped hull design enhances mine and IED protection. The vehicle's ability to carry up to 21 fully equipped soldiers allows for efficient troop deployment during beach landings. With its high level of protection, firepower, and amphibious capabilities, Zaha significantly enhances the operational reach of marine forces, making it a critical asset in Turkey's amphibious warfare strategy. The Armored Amphibious Combat Earth Mover, AACE, designed by Turkey's FNSS Defense Systems, is a unique engineering vehicle that combines earth-moving, amphibious, and armored capabilities. This multi-purpose vehicle is specifically designed to perform excavation, earth-moving, and construction tasks in combat zones, ensuring rapid and efficient preparation for military operations in challenging terrains. The AACE's amphibious nature allows it to operate in water without requiring additional preparation, making it a valuable asset for river crossing operations and shoreline support. On land, its robust tracks and high power engine enable it to traverse rugged terrains and carry out heavy duty tasks. The AACE can build protective structures, dig trenches, or clear obstacles to enhance the mobility and survivability of allied forces. What sets the AACE apart is its integration of armor protection. Its design shields the crew and vehicle systems from small arms fire, landmines, and shrapnel, allowing it to operate effectively in active combat zones. Otokar's Tulpar Infantry Fighting Vehicle, IFV, is a versatile and heavily armed vehicle designed to complement main battle tanks, like the Alte, on the battlefield. Unlike traditional IFVs, the Tulpar is built with a modular design that supports various combat roles making it adaptable for a wide range of missions. One of the key features of the Tulpar is its armament flexibility. In its standard configuration, the Tulpar is equipped with a 30mm autocannon and a 7mm coaxial machine gun, allowing it to engage both infantry and lightly armored targets. Additionally, anti-tank guided missile launchers can be integrated, enhancing its capability to counter armored threats. 
Recent iterations have explored arming the Tulpar with a 120mm gun, effectively turning it into a light tank, or tank destroyer, capable of taking on heavier armored vehicles. This blurring of categories demonstrates Autocar's commitment to providing versatile solutions that can adapt to changing battlefield requirements. It offers all-around protection against small arms fire, artillery fragments, and certain anti-tank projectiles, while its advanced active protection system can intercept and neutralize incoming threats like anti-tank missiles. Mobility is a core strength of the Tulpar. Its advanced suspension system and powerful engine allow it to keep pace with heavier tanks like the Alte, making it an ideal companion in armored assaults. Furthermore, the Tulpar is amphibious, capable of traversing rivers and lakes, which expands its operational capabilities in diverse terrains. The Marlin, developed by Turkey's Asilsan, is an advanced naval platform designed for various maritime operations. With its autonomous capabilities, the Marlin is equipped for ISR missions, as well as surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, and mine countermeasures. It features a modular design, allowing integration with various payloads such as sonar systems, electronic warfare tools, and weapon systems. The Marlin USV can operate autonomously or be remotely controlled, making it highly adaptable to different operational needs. Its robust design and sensor systems ensure high performance navigation and target detection, even in challenging maritime environments. The USV is particularly suitable for use in littoral operations and can engage in asymmetric warfare scenarios effectively. The USV can be deployed for missions involving mine detection and clearance, protecting critical naval and coastal infrastructure, or in multi-domain operations alongside drones and other unmanned vehicles. The ULAC is Turkey's first armed unmanned surface vessel developed by Ares Shipyard in collaboration with Metexon Defense. Designed for a range of naval operations, ULAC is equipped with advanced surveillance, reconnaissance, and combat capabilities. Its payload includes guided missiles, electronic warfare systems, and jamming technology, making it a versatile platform for maritime warfare. The vessel can be remotely controlled or operate autonomously, providing flexibility in missions such as patrol, intelligence gathering, and surface combat. ULAC can be integrated with larger naval units and coordinate with UAVs for joint operations, enhancing its tactical versatility. Its robust communication systems ensure real-time data transfer to command centers, and its long-range operational capability allows it to conduct missions in hostile environments without risking human lives. The modular design of ULAC enables different mission configurations, from anti-surface warfare to mine countermeasures. The PARS-3 is an advanced multi-wheeled armored vehicle family developed by FNSS, designed to meet the needs of modern military forces. PARS-3 is renowned for its high mobility, superior protection, and modularity, allowing it to be customized for a wide range of missions, including reconnaissance, troop transport, and combat support. The PARS-3 is equipped with a powerful engine, all-wheel drive, and an independent suspension system, which gives it exceptional performance across various terrains, from deserts to urban environments. Its amphibious capability further enhances its operational flexibility, allowing it to participate in river crossing and amphibious assault missions. Inside, the PARS-3 offers a spacious and ergonomically designed cabin that can accommodate up to 12 personnel, depending on configuration. Its turret can be equipped with various weapon systems, including machine guns, automatic cannons, and anti-tank guided missiles, providing substantial firepower to support troops in combat. The PARS-3 has been exported to several countries, solidifying its reputation as a reliable and versatile armored vehicle suitable for a wide range of military operations. The ZMA-15 is an advanced armored combat vehicle designed to perform a range of battlefield roles Developed by Turkish manufacturer FNSS, the ZMA-15 is a multi-purpose tracked vehicle often classified as an Armored Personnel Carrier, APC, or IFV. It combines agility, firepower, and protection to provide Turkish armed forces with a versatile platform for transporting troops and engaging enemy positions. One of its primary advantages is its modular design, which allows for customization based on mission needs making it a flexible asset in both conventional and asymmetric warfare scenarios. Armed with a range of weaponry, 
The ZMA-15 can be fitted with a 25mm autocannon and even anti-tank guided missile systems, making it a formidable force on the battlefield. Advanced fire control systems and night vision capabilities ensure operational effectiveness in various environments. The ZMA-15's armor is constructed to withstand small arms fire, shell splinters, and certain anti-personnel threats while maintaining the mobility needed to support frontline operations. The vehicle can carry up to 10 fully equipped soldiers, making it a reliable troop carrier. The Arma 8x8 is a versatile armored combat vehicle developed by Otokar, a Turkish defense company designed for multi-role capabilities in modern military operations. It can be configured for a variety of missions, such as troop transport, reconnaissance, and fire support, and is adaptable for use by different armed forces worldwide. The vehicle's modular design allows for the integration of various weapon systems, from machine guns to missile launchers, depending on mission needs. Arma features a highly protected hull, offering defense against mines, IEDs, and ballistic threats. Its amphibious capability allows it to operate in both land and water environments, making it suitable for diverse battlefield conditions. The vehicle is powered by a high-performance engine that provides excellent mobility and speed, even in rough terrains. With seating for up to 12 personnel, Arma provides enhanced troop transport capabilities. It also features advanced battlefield management systems for real-time communication and coordination during missions. The Altay main battle tank is Turkey's flagship next-generation armored combat vehicle, representing a leap in the country's defense capabilities. Developed by BMC, the new Altay has been in focus due to its high-tech enhancements and local production. The new Altay's primary weapon, a 120mm 55 caliber smoothbore gun, offers superior firepower and precision. This firepower is augmented by advanced targeting systems like the laser-guided firing mechanism, enabling pinpoint accuracy even in challenging conditions. One of the tank's standout features is the ACOR Active Protection System, designed to neutralize incoming threats such as anti-tank missiles and RPGs by intercepting them mid-air. Enhanced composite and modular armor provides robust protection, making it resilient against a wide array of threats. The development history of the Alte reflects Turkey's ambition to achieve military autonomy. Early prototypes relied on German engines, but geopolitical barriers around technology transfer led Turkey to adopt a South Korean power pack. The project has seen various prototypes and improvements, with mass production aimed to commence around 2025. With its cutting-edge electronics, communication systems, and battlefield management software, the Alte positions itself not just as a combat vehicle, but as a node in Turkey's future network-centric warfare doctrine. The Autocar Cobra II is a highly versatile infantry mobility vehicle, widely utilized for various military and paramilitary operations. Known for its adaptability, the Cobra II is primarily designed as a light-armored vehicle capable of transporting troops in diverse combat environments. It is an upgraded version of the original Cobra, featuring better armor, improved electronics, and enhanced firepower options. This vehicle has seen international deployment, most notably by the Ukrainian Special Forces Unit Kraken, underlining its combat effectiveness even outside Turkey. Designed for mobility, the Cobra II features a powerful engine and all-wheel drive, allowing it to navigate tough terrains, including urban environments, deserts, and mountainous regions. Its armor is modular, providing flexibility for different threat levels. The vehicle is resistant to small arms fire and shrapnel, and can be fitted with additional armor kits to increase its protection against IEDs and landmines. The Cobra II's V-shaped hull design enhances survivability by deflecting blasts away from the vehicle, making it a reliable choice in conflict zones with high IED threats. The vehicle also supports remote-controlled weapon stations, enabling safer engagement of targets. Its advanced communication systems make it an integral part of network-centric operations, allowing for real-time coordination with other units. The vehicle's success in international markets highlights Turkey's capability in producing reliable and cost-effective armored vehicles. The Shadow Rider unmanned ground vehicle has been designed as a force multiplier on the battlefield. It is manufactured by Turkish Armored Vehicles provider FNSS, 
a joint venture between Turkish industrial conglomerate Neural and British Aerospace and defense firm BAE Systems. The UGV is equipped with an AI-based autonomy kit, decision support systems, a sensor suite, and systems designed for positional and situational awareness. The vehicle's modular design makes it suitable for various missions and operations in difficult conditions and terrains. The architecture supports the integration of different payloads to support a range of missions, including surveillance and reconnaissance, tactical deception, logistics support, communication relay, fire support, and military evacuation. The PARS Alpha 8x8, developed by FNSS, is the latest addition to Turkey's lineup of next-generation armored vehicles. Unveiled at the 2024 World Defense Show, this vehicle prioritizes a blend of high mobility, advanced protection, and operational versatility, marking a significant leap in armored vehicle technology. Designed as a multi-role platform, the PARS Alpha can be configured for various mission profiles, from reconnaissance to direct combat. It is equipped with advanced mine and ballistic protection, ensuring survivability against both kinetic and explosive threats. The vehicle's design includes a powerful drivetrain, independent suspension, and a high power-to-weight ratio, allowing it to navigate diverse terrains, including deserts, forests, and urban environments. Its amphibious capabilities further enhance its versatility, making it suitable for river crossings and amphibious operations without additional preparations. The Alpha's modular design allows for different weapon configurations, ranging from medium caliber autocannons to anti-tank guided missile systems, depending on mission requirements. The vehicle's interior is designed with ergonomic considerations, enhancing crew comfort and situational awareness during prolonged operations. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and put notifications on to stay updated on everything related to AI, robotics, and military technology.